I would say probably four minutes. Okay, my original favorite color was blue, but now it's pink. So his favorite color is blue or black if it's close. My favorite color is blue, and I think her favorite color is, it was blue, so I'm gonna just go with blue. My favorite food is probably sushi. His favorite food is probably steak or crawfish. And if he says anything else, he's lying. Uh, my favorite food is seafood, and her favorite food is, like, like, I don't know, Mexican food, I guess? I don't know. What's your name? RJ Hampton. What position do you play? Everything. Where did you grow up? Dallas, Texas. Who motivates you to play? My mom, my dad, my brother, and my son. What is your astrological sign? No idea. What's your favorite food? Uh, steak. Who would play you in a movie? hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is amaomi aka petty diva and in this video we are discussing athletes and their baby mamas now this video is inspired by a recent situation between a nba player called rj Hamilton and his baby mama who is known as tiffany jeff coat his baby mama put up some videos that showed um, her having an interaction with um, RJ Hampton. It was not a nice interaction. Um, and then she put up some other videos talking about the fact that the um, NBA player has taken their son and um, she doesn't know where he is. He took the son without his clothes, food and everything. And she was worried about the whole situation. Are you to me because you're... Please. Yeah, I don't care if you have me on recording. I could care less. I just don't want what I what I'm afraid of because of who you are as me, like taking him and then you like fighting me off of him and then you like oh my god you abused me. No, I wouldn't do. First of all, you have laid hands on me before, so you have. I have pictures of it. I know. And text messages of it. You have pictures of it right here. Yeah, and you text me. Who's gonna care about that? Who's gonna care? There's Who's bruises. gonna care? Bro, there's, there are bruises of, you know, I don't even get into that. Like, but they that. came from your hands. Of course they did. Okay. Did, did, I, I, punch, did I punch you? Did I slap you? Just because you didn't did punch, punch you doesn't mean that's okay. Wow. Hey, come back. Wow. At the end of the day, if you, it, like, the fact that you can sit here and I'm allow. I'm talking. No, because your child has been traveling since 5 a.m. Oh, oh. He's been traveling since 5 a.m. and you're sitting here oh, making him. Hotel. I'm not playing victim. I'm saying my house. No. You, dad, you went to Miami and you were First of all, and your parents kept it. Yeah, my parents, my mom is a, more of a parent to him than you have ever been. Can you get the hotel? Because I have to be there for Yo, bro, 45 you days. Went to Miami and were thought, you get the hotel. That's not the document that you signed, so we snatched Halo off the ground, walked out, hopped in the car, and left. Didn't tell me where they were going. Didn't tell me when they were back. Didn't take any of his stuff. He's not allowed to do that. He just traveled. Got up at 5 a.m. Took a 13-month-old on the plane. Just had to get off the phone with the police. Um, and I had to describe what my child was wearing. My 13-month-old was wearing. Didn't bring... Didn't make sure he had a pacifier. Didn't make sure he had his lovey blankets or anything. Doesn't know what time he last ate, doesn't know what time he last left. He's never had him for more than like 30 minutes. This just shows how little he cares about his child. So now I'm waiting for police to get here. Okay. It is now 7.26 p.m. Um, I've been sitting in the lobby since 2 p.m. And still no room. Halo's still not back. Don't know where he is. Um, I hope he ate dinner. I hope... I mean, poor thing's been up since 5 a.m. His bedtime was an hour ago. So... I hope he is back soon because technically 
his visitation schedule that he does he's supposed to have access to the child um is from eight to eight so i would hope that he does at least abide by that part and bring him back by 8 p.m so another 33 minutes hopefully and i will have my baby back um i genuinely I like really don't even know what to, I've never in my life experienced anything like this and I pray that nobody else has to. So all I have to say is be careful who you have a baby with. Um, yeah, because sharing a child that you love with somebody who is literally a horrible person is not for the weak. Check out what people had to say about the whole situation and then I'll come back to share my thoughts. It amazes me that everybody is looking at the video a former first round draft pick into the NBA RJ Hampton in the confrontation that he got into with his baby mother that she secretly recorded posted online now it's going viral and everybody is on one side but if you look at the video you can clearly see that it's sliced and diced and I believe that it's sliced and diced to make him look a particular way and you can hear that she was trying to bait him for content the whole video and it's nothing in the video that I hear that's concrete evidence that he's an abuser so I don't like the internet running with this narrative especially when he's trying to work himself back into the NBA now she alluded to bruises and he also alluded to bruises on her arms and in my opinion just my opinion I think it probably comes from a situation where shit was getting crazy and he probably had to hold her back before something else happened and she's light-skinned so she bruises easy I'm I'm pretty sure most of you guys watching this have been in a toxic relationship and you've had to do the same thing and once i saw her page that she's an influencer i thought to myself maybe she's doing this for content because every girl's dream is to have a baby by an nba or an nfl player and most of them want to make content after and i believe that she was in miami like rj hampton said in the video probably looking for another ball player to get into another situation so she can keep the content rolling but that's just my opinion guys football player rj hampton and tiffany jeff Cole are having what looks like a big deal in just a little while so pretty much rj hampton snatched up their little baby halo got in the car didn't take any of his things with him and left now here's the backstory Tiffany Jeffcoat went to Oklahoma in order for RJ to be able to see the baby. Apparently, he is not necessarily an active father. He has not been helping take care of this child. Apparently, Tiffany Jeffcoat's parents have been a very active part in helping to take care of little baby Halo. Well, she gets to Oklahoma. He doesn't have a hotel for her. Strike one. It's not even about her anymore. It's about your son. And so I don't feel like you guys are amicable enough to have her staying in your home. I don't know what his living situation is. I don't even know much about this RJ Hampton individual. So from there, they don't have a hotel. They're in. She also posted a video of them like being in some type of lobby. It looks like a hotel type situation. And um, he's like going back and forth with her and they're discussing like some bruises that she has and he's like I didn't put my hands on you or I don't want to I'm not even trying to like do this or do that because you're going to act like the victim and so he kind of is like condescending very narcissistic as well and so then he takes the child which there is a visitation order he's supposed to be able to see and have access to the baby from eight to eight i do not think based on what she said it allows him to just pick the baby up and leave so he leaves he has been gone for like five hours he didn't take any food with him he didn't take the baby's diapers um she said his little lovey he didn't take that either. He has never been with this baby more than 30 minutes. Um, so he's not really clear about the last time the baby ate, the last time the baby drank, the last time the baby slept. They've been traveling since 5 a.m. RJ, come to the front, baby. I'm going to hold your hand when I say this. You think because you have a baby with that lady that you can just use that baby to weaponize how you treat her. No. You're not even the primary parent in this situation. You don't even have custody of this child. That's kidnapping. 
You're going to jail, buddy. <clears throat> We've all seen the video of RJ Hampton cussing out J Tiffany in front of his son. Sorry, I had tomato soup on my face. Um, I'm appalled. He, she literally has him on video pretty much confessing to putting his hands on her. So, you know, count your days. Um, also, something I find extremely interesting is he literally said like he's gonna take him and then he did right but like he seems like he's missing a screw up here on that video the way that he was speaking to her cussing her out in front of their son like at a very young age people think like oh our, your babies don't pick up on things Little children pick up on everything, okay? If he hears his father speaking like that to his mother, that is not a quality situation you want to put a child in. Tiffany, get full custody. He deserves nothing. Nothing. And we write it down for you. There is a woman on here. Her name is Tiffany, and she took her young son to see his dad, RJ, who is an NBA player, and he took the baby and left her stranded, and he didn't situate their hotel rooms after they've been traveling for a while, and woo, woo, woo. In no life should you be taking your baby to see anybody that has ever caused harm to you, put you in um, a dangerous situation, or is an abuser. If a man hates you, assume he hates your kid too. If a man wants to hurt you and he can't get to you, but he can get to your kid, he's going to hurt that kid just to hurt you. If you know a man will go as far as to physically abuse you, mentally abuse you, financially abuse you, then you should know that he'll do the same thing to your kid. I understand that we all want our child's father in their life, especially when we have young boys. We really feel like it's important for them to have a father figure in their life, and that's absolutely true. However, when you're dealing with a man who is unstable mentally and he is emotionally immature and he is an abuser, then you have to go ahead and forfeit that for your child's safety, for your safety. Sometimes shit happens. We have babies with the wrong people, but you have to be mentally strong enough to say, hey, this isn't going to serve me. This is not going to serve my child and I got to get the hell out of Dodge. That's what you have to do as the same parent. It sucks, but it is what it is. Get your kids away from these men before you end up hurt, your baby ends up hurt, or worse. Now, when I was watching the whole thing, because I really don't know a lot about them, and I could not, like, get, like, full concept of what is going on because um, the videos that she uploaded before talking about how he might have been abusive towards her and how he has taken the child and everything most of it is gone on our page so it's no more on our page and then there was an update as i was preparing for this video and um, in which that the boy is with her now and she showed a picture of him sleeping in bed and everything thank god there is a good update if you didn't see it in my last video tiffany jeffcoat had posted a bunch of videos about a situation that happened between her and her son's father rj hampton where one they were having a lot of disputes but rj left with their son when he wasn't supposed to she hadn't posted an update uh, through the rest of yesterday after around 8 p.m her time but this morning she posted thank you to everyone who reached out with a picture of halo sleeping I hope she can find some resolution if he broke the custody agreement because that is just absolutely not okay. And for him to be upset with her prior to this, that she had a weekend away with her friends, he called her a thought, and he wouldn't uphold the part of the custody agreement where because she travels to him so he can see their son, that he gets accommodations. Like, that is just absolutely not okay. The way he spoke to her, the things he said in that video, this is not someone who should have a platform. This is not someone who should be famous. And this is someone who doesn't deserve to be in the NBA. If he is going to talk to his son's mother like that, and if he is admitting to DV. And I don't know if it's 100% related, but it doesn't seem that far-fetched that in the last few weeks, Tiffany has opened up more on TikTok talking about her relationship with RJ, being cheated on, and just like a bunch of other situations they went through. And then for the next time he sees their son for this to happen. 
That girl Tiffany deleted all them videos that she posted that already had millions of views that's already all over the internet. And I was going to say yesterday or last night, like, I wish she wouldn't have posted it on the internet. Because I'm reading the comments, they're like, you need to go to court, you need to go to court. Like, I don't think y'all understand how co-parenting with someone who is so draining. I don't think you guys understand how that is on your mental. Like, no one just wants to run to the courts. Like, it's not easy to just go to court and fight for your kids. That's not an easy thing to have to fight for something and not know the outcome. I don't think, and I was reading the comments and I was just looking like, he should not have talked to her like that. Absolutely not. I wish she would have just got her own hotel room. Like, instead of, like, begging him and just sitting there like, you're supposed to get it. I would have been just got my own room. Like, I'm not about to do this with you. <laughs> I promise I'm not. I don't know. She deleted the videos. She shouldn't have never posted them. Girl, just go through. Because you still have to co-parent. Y'all baby is young. Which means that y'all probably, y'all, she talks about her breakup all on her page. So, she still has feelings for this man. So, you're just opening the gates for people to criticize and ridicule, ridicule you for your decisions and you didn't need to do that at this time so i just hope that everything works out i hope y'all you should still if you got to go to court fight for your baby stand ten toes down don't let nobody play about you and um girl he 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 was he was gonna bring that baby back trust me i always tell females like men like that they're gonna bring him back girl, i would have let that man take that baby and been in my hotel room with my feet kicked up now when i watched the whole thing and tried to have an idea of what is going on i just felt like it was a situation where this lady the baby mama got pregnant for the guy without them really like knowing each other because she has a video where she was saying like it was like four minutes i don't even know how she, the concept of the video was she was saying that it was very short between when she knew him and when they got pregnant when she got pregnant with the boy whose name is Halo. And so I feel like it was just something like, I won't call the pregnancy a mistake, but I don't think it was entirely planned. And I don't think they really like knew each other. And even though I don't know them per se, but from what I've gotten from some of the things that she has said, he has said, and some of the videos I saw of the two of them together, it looks like, like I said, they didn't really know each other that well before she got pregnant um but because of his a uh, nba player and the whole work thing and the rest i think the lady is more invested in having a relationship with him than he is interested in having a relationship with her so he just sees her like someone who got pregnant with his son whether he wanted it or not the son is here and she she's trying to like build a family with him she wants to be with him i don't know whether it's because she likes him or she likes the lifestyle of being a girlfriend of an athlete or something i don't know but that's what i feel like that's the dynamics of their relationship and because he doesn't like her per se he's not going to treat her the way she expects to be treated or the way she thought she would be treated as a girlfriend or wife of an athlete and this whole thing just made me just think about how some women are so determined to be the girlfriend or wife of athletes and would do anything to trap them or get them hooked with them so sometimes they would do it for the child support that they will get when they have a child for this athlete or what they would do it for the lifestyle that they can get through their kids like probably showing up at events showing up at games she being the one that they will be snapping pictures and the rest and the rest lifestyle that they want or showing up on a reality tv show or something like that so that's why some of these ladies do these things and it's a concept that i don't really understand then for the men i really don't get it i thought when you're in competitive sports you're supposed to be disciplined how is it that a lot of them end up fathering children when they are not ready i don't get it like how is it that some of them are just like baby daddies for a lot of 
and children or to a lot of baby mamas what is the concept with athletes not being disciplined when they are at the peak of or when they are climbing up their uh, athletic career or even at the peak what is it I, I really don't understand the concept i think they need a lot of more discipline now i was trying to compare the um american athlete and celebrities especially males and their korean counterpart and you don't really see their athletes and um, celebrities with the baby mama um issue baby mama news because those people know that korean people are brutal they would almost cut off their neck if they try things like that so they are under a lot of pressure not to slip up so a lot of them probably will be doing the a and c which is abstinent and using a condom using rubber to try and prevent any issue because they know that any slip up they are very unforgiving in korea very unforgiving which is why the k-pop artists the k-pop idols the k-drama actors and the rest are under like strict strict i don't even know what strict like rules and guidelines that sometimes i'm like are they in prison but it prevents a lot of this baby mama drama that is always going on because most times they are not ready for these kids they just happen to make someone pregnant and either willingly or unwillingly i don't know they just do it and they are now forced to be fathers and it causes a lot of problems now i really cannot say about this whole issue of her, of of him taking the child and she coming online and leaving all those videos i don't know it might have been an argument between the two of them it might not be what she said it might not be what he said because they don't say eye to eye so and they are in maybe a court drama or something maybe custody drama and each person will want to make the other person look bad so i'm not buying both of them story or a story or whatever story you're going to say I'm not buying everything it looks like they don't like from the clip where they were interacting they don't like each other and the baby mama is going to obviously look for a way where she shows that she's a better parent to the child and she's more responsible than the boy but she's still going to want to get as much money as she can from the guy and the guy i don't know what he was thinking i don't know whether he told her and she said she didn't want to understand what he told her and she argued and he just left i have no idea but i'm not going to like say this person's at fault this person's not at fault this person's at fault because from their interaction they don't like each other so and they're definitely going to try to make each other look bad for selfish reasons because right now i don't know if they are both thinking about the child or they are just using the child as a pawn i really don't know like i said i really don't um know about the two of them their dynamic but i looked at some of the things and i saw that in my own opinion i might be wrong the girl is more interested in having like a family relationship with the guy and the guy is not in the mood for having that to tie he just wants his son for him i feel like the the less interaction he has with his baby mama the better for him so i don't know i just hope that they are able to sit down and to find a way to be better parents to their child the child should not be used as a pawn to get whatever they want um, from each other so that's my own thought about their dynamics and really my thought about um athletes just having children without wanting to be parents and women looking to have children with this athlete because you want a certain lifestyle or you want to have um the child support or you want to be known as the baby mama of this top athlete i think the athlete needs to be disciplined to just focus on their career 
and women need to find other things that will elevate them than just being the baby mama of a celebrity or the baby mama of an athlete so i don't know what you guys think about this whole topic what do you think about the situation do you think that the situation is as it was portrayed by the baby mama or do you think that there's something up between the two of them and she didn't show the true picture of what was going on i also want to know what you think about women getting pregnant for athletes just because they want a particular lifestyle or because they want to be connected with the athlete forever and athletes fathering children that they are not ready to take care of i would love to hear your thoughts about this whole discussion so please leave your comment in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you need to find anytime i upload videos now with all that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one bye